All right, Kane, where are you? Where is that pod? Oh. That's a steep drop off. I have to watch my depth meter here. Getting close. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Okay. Let's say we found our bottom limit at the moment. That is a lot of shipwreckage. Wow, that's a lot of shipwreckage. Um, Alright, I want to know what that glowing thing is, and I want to know what else is here, so let's do this. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Not anymore, it's not. Rebreather. Okay, what do we got? Vehicle upgrade console. Yes, please. If only I had a moon pool to put it in. New blueprint acquired. That looks like a torpedo arm to me. I will gladly take that. What else is down here? Other than a giant hole. Uh, let me get this first. Alright, I'm not sure I want to be down here yet. That's deep and dark. But I can't get the sea moth down there, so... Let's find what else is here. Where are you? A oh, moon pool fragment. Yes! Yes, I'm gonna need one of those. Oh, look, a chair! Oh, I've already got that chair. Okay, we're good. I don't know why chairs excite me so much. They're just great. There's a chair. I don't have that chair. Looks nice. Looks comfy. What is that? I don't know, but I got 30 seconds of oxygen left. Let's get back in the pocket in the uh, sea bomb for a second. Need to find a way into these rooms, too. See what they have in them. Is there a way into this one? Is there something I'm not seeing? Trying to keep my depth steady here. Yeah, there's a hole there. Alright, let's go inside. What have you got? Power cell charger. Light sticks, it looks like. Is there another one? Yeah, there is. It's in here. More water. Always a good thing. New blueprint acquired. Nothing else useful? Nothing else useful I can get to. I don't have a laser cutter. Okay, what else is down here? Do I already have the full moon pool blueprint? Do I need more of it? Uh, where is that? That is... There. Got the full blueprint. Okay, so we don't need that. Nothing else down there. Nothing else there. Okay, back to the sea moth. Okay. All right, um, there's more wreckage up here. Keen's pod is now, what does that say, 150 meters away? So it's in that hole. All right, I'll go for the pod in a minute. I want to know what's in this. Laser cutter, can't open it. More torpedo arms. Did I get that full torpedo arm? Uh, where is that? That's vehicle upgrades. Is that not where this is supposed to be? There it is. Just blind. Okay. Okay. Uh, in that case, let's get Keen's pod. Let's get it out of here. 
Well, I can't get it out of here. Actually, with some floaters, I might Warning. be able to, but Maximum no thanks. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Have a drink. Oh, let's go down the deep dark hole. What else down here, anyway? Is that glowing red? That's a ruby. What is this? Shale outcroppings? What's a shale outcropping? Ah! Ah! What are you? And what have you done? No, I want to know what you are. Come on, tell me what you are. Ah, no, no more. No, 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 no. So many of them. Ah, that one's infected. Get it off, get it off. I need a second. Ah, I don't even know what they are. Ah. Okay, hold on. Catch your breath. Self-scan. Am I still good? Am I okay? Okay, I'm still good. What are those things? What was that shale outcropping thing? Uh, gold, lithium, and diamond source. Okay, now where was it? I don't know where that one was, but here's a couple more. Uh, what's in you? Gold? I like. What's in you? Remember That's a massive chunk of diamond. Are the property of the all Yeah, 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 yeah. You will be liable to reimburse the Wait, full what? market price. Your current bill stands at three million credits. Okay, that's ridiculous. How am I supposed to pay three million credits? I mean, survival situation and everything. I can't even take it with me. Well, actually, I might could. I don't know about the rescue ship yet. Okay, we'll figure that out later. What's this? Keen's voice log. This is Aurora. Uh, start that over, please. I missed it. Keen, this is Aurora. Come in. This is Keen. Light pod detached to a cave planet fall in 30 seconds. The computer has identified a landmass at the attached coordinates. I want you to regroup the crew there. Understood, but they <sighs> are your responsibility now. Don't let them down. Captain, you need to evacuate. Negative. You'll need the ship in one piece if you're going to contact HQ on the long range. I'm attempting a controlled descent. Not right here. Captain! 30 seconds. There's the explosion. Okay, so Captain Hollister went down with the ship. Good to know, I guess. Um, I swear those little things are going to be the death of me down here. There's nothing about the rendezvous in that one. There's got to be more down here. Oh, there's one of those rubies. Um, I want that. No idea what it's useful for, but I want it. Not that. I don't have another battery. Give me this. Ultra high capacity tank. Yes, please. Okay. That whole pattern is remarkably similar to the uh, hole in pod three. And Keen, as far as I'm aware, did not blow up his uh, sea, sea glide. So, I don't know why those would look the same. That's a massive chunk of lithium. What else is down here? Anything useful? A couple of these. I will gladly take those. Anything else? Anything else worth gathering? I guess that signals it's time to go. Battery's dead. Okay, level this thing out for a second. What was the other thing? Keen's crew log. To all crew, if you're reading this and you have followed the automatic distress signal broadcast by this life pod's onboard computer, contrary to my orders. 
I've been forced to evacuate. Your orders are to disregard my safety and attempt to reach the designated rendezvous coordinates at the nearest landmass. Hope to see you there. I hope to see you there as well, Keen. Did you give me an actual... Aurora Rendezvous Point Dry Land. Make that red, please. How far away is that? Where's my map? I am here. Oh, it's... It's close, actually. Where is... 300 meters. There's no way there's a landmass that close. Hold on. I would have seen it by now. Well, that explains why there's no point of land rising from the seabed. How is that possible? Is this thing floating? Like, full-on float floating? That is amazing! And that is an artificial structure. Um, okay. Uh, several things. First, uh, Seamoth, chill here. I want to see what these things are that's keeping this thing afloat. Just a massive floater, really? Ancient floater. Apparently they can grow to astronomical sizes. I am not swimming under there right now. Too many falling rocks. At least it has a beach. Okay. That thing is clearly not new. Picking up multiple energy signatures on the island's surface. Excellent. Maybe, just maybe, somebody else is here. All right. Hello? Anybody here? Anybody? Hello? Whoa. What are you? Spiders are not my favorite thing in the world, and you kind of look like one. Granted, you've only got four legs, but you move like it. <gasps> Ow! Okay. Uh, cave crawlers? Not friendly. Not friendly at all. What are they? Uh, that would be... Fauna... Scavengers and parasites. Great. There's parasites. Necessarily waste cycler. Avoid. Okay. Good to know. Let's go ahead and patch up my wounds and grab a drink. Okay, it looks like... Yeah, it looks like there's paths through the, uh... Island here. Let me follow those, see where it goes. For the sake of science. Ow! Ow! Stop it! You stop it! Go away! For the sake of science, I want to know what everything is and whether it's edible or not. Definitely not eating the little parasites. You stay over there. Where does this go? A new type of tree I've never seen. Bulbo tree. Alright then. You scanned that? No, I'm not. What are you? Okay, how do I get up there? Mm, doesn't look like there's a path up that direction. Maybe around here? There's another one. That one was facing the other direction. They had lookout posts. Whoever built these. Oh, I bet it's the... What was that crew's name? Uh, the Degasi. Yes, these people. Uh, Paul Torgal, Mar Bart Torgal, and Marguerite Maida. We're supposed to find them, right? Have we found them? Did they find the same landmass? Come on, they gotta be up here and alive, right? These things have been here a while. That doesn't look good. If they were here, they're definitely not here now. Pod, that life pod has seen some things. 
All right, what all's down here? That looks like part of a stasis rifle. I will gladly take that. A grown food, awesome. I'm going to assume that these are edible then. I'm gonna go ahead and eat that big one because I am hungry. That's not much. Chinese potatoes. Oh, I've missed actual food. Oh, so much better. Okay. What all's in this place? What's that? Oh, yes, give us an actual habitat to build. That would be great. Near blueprint acquired. Excellent. Now, what? Is that curious discovery? What, what did they thing? hear about it? I don't know. Stop playing automatically. What is that thing? I don't know. I found it outside in the sand. Uh, part of another ship? None I've ever seen. It's not even scratched. I, I, don't fool around with it. It might be worth something. Stand down, Chief. If it were going to crumble to dust, it would have done so when I picked it up. It's glowing. We're not the first people to come to this planet. People? Maybe. Could be aliens. Could be the damn sea monsters for all we know. One thing for sure, we ain't going to find out by staying here. Okay, that confirms they left, but why didn't they take this with them? And what is it? Almost like it has an energy shield. Purple tablet? This carbon-based device is lighter than it looks and features a symbol which resembles a U lit up in purple. Despite the onboard power still functioning, algae growth on the exterior indicates it was abandoned hundreds, perhaps thousands of years ago. While technology is far beyond Federation levels, there's no obvious way to interface with it. It should nonetheless be possible to fabricate a precise physical copy of the device if necessary. So this thing is thousands of years old? Possibly? And still powered. That's creepy. Um, okay, what else is in here that might be useful? And where is the uh, Aurora crew? Come on, guys! The obvious place to meet up. Maybe they're up in one of the towers. I'll have to go check there in a bit, but I want to see what else is down here. Bulkhead. Extremely useful. Always nice to be able to get in and out of places you build. I wish my flashlight still worked. What was that one? Degrassi voice log number two. Okay, let's find them all and then we'll listen to them. Uh, you, this parasite, stay back there. Ultra Glide Swim Fins. Ultra Glide Fins, I can't even speak today. Where is everybody? Come on, guys. Sitting funny. How do I even get up there? Is there a way up there around this path? Or do I actually have to climb the rock slide? Let's check the path first. Man, this underbrush is thick. Maybe this leads us around. At the very least, maybe we can find other people. Come on, come out, where are you? Gassy voice log number three, okay. Let's head on around. Hey, guys! Come on! Come out! Where are you? Hello? Pathway down here, but I'm not trying to get down. I want up. Where is the pathway up? Here's a pathway up. Looks like I made the right decision. Yeah, we're definitely climbing up now. Okay. 
Oh, maybe I did not make the right decision. Uh, can I make that jump? Let's find out. <sighs> Whew. Okay, through another cave. Let's keep going up here. All right, we're up above the, the uh, landslide now. What's up here? Oh, this is precarious. I should stop moving so fast. Try not to fall to my death while I'm trying to find people. Hello? Anybody up here? Come on, you guys gotta be somewhere, right? Clips time. Grant. Uh... Wait, do I have an extra battery now? Did I pick up a battery? Yes! I do have a flashlight again. Okay. Ah, grow pots. Nice. Nobody in here. This is where I would be hanging out looking for people. Windows need some cleaning, but... Degasi voice Integrate log one. PDA data. If we found the first one, this might be a good time to actually listen through these. See what happened to the Degasi crew. There might be more of it, the uh, info in there, though, so... Let's go there first. Oh, it's exhausting climbing these things. Now I gotta climb back down. Where is the way down? Over here. Okay, looks like they did have a path going across here. Um, I would rather slide down to it than try and jump across to it. So let's go down this way. Whoa. Not okay. Let's not fall down that ravine. Okay, across where the landslide went down. Let's not slide down with it. I'd rather not break an ankle. Anybody? We got ourselves a pond. That's where the actual seat signal is. It's from the uh, pond down there. Okay, maybe that's where everybody's gathering. Um, I'll go check that out in a bit, but I really do want to know if there's anybody up here. Somebody's got to be smart enough to climb to the top and keep a lookout, right? Okay. Hello? Anybody? More water for me. All right, tool goes number three. Nobody. Nobody at all. And I can't see anybody from up here, and it's getting dark now. Okay, I tell you what. For the night, I'm going to camp out here. Keep a lookout for lights down on the island. Come to the observatory for that. And if we see any lights, then I'll go to it. But for the meantime, you can check out what happened here. All right. Uh, one, two, three, four. Pause one. Where do we start? So let's see who we're dealing with first. Uh, Bart Torgal, vice president of the Torgal operation. He was 19 at the time of disappearance. Only legit child of Paul. Uh, enhanced learning techniques. He was Gumdang's father to serve a five-year term as chief, chief operating officer. Okay. Uh, who is Paul? Chief of Torgal Corp. Captain of the Degasi. Lost in space here. Age was 79. Crew fell out of contact with Mongolian authorities close to a decade ago. Torgals were a resourceful and powerful clan. Ship was well equipped, so their survival is considered likely. 
Multiple vessels passing through the system have since, since, since attempted to trace the ship. No effect. Let's hope the Aurora's superior, superior scanning suite can do better. Inadequate systems maintenance are straying from its planned route may account for the ship's disappearance. Okay. Who's this Meta? A uh, freelance security personnel. She was 42. Merc. Experienced in ship-to-ship -ship and close quarters combat. Dishonorably discharged. Kassar reported that Meta was hired to accompany Paul aboard the Degasi into uncharted space and defend the ship in case of assault by pirates or rival corporations. Okay. Paul, what happened? Chief's log, five weeks since the crash. The only other survivors are my son, Bart, and Meda, the cut price mercenary I commissioned for the journey. After days drifting in the life pod, rain hammering on the roof, the weather cleared and we washed up here. I had Meda salvage the Degazi wreck, set Bart to finding us a stable source of food. His education is paying off sooner than I'd anticipated. Our only problem is Meda. She says the weather's going to turn. I say she's finding excuses to risk our lives. I imagine she's not gonna weaken her life without a physical altercation, and she's itching for a fight. In every judgment she makes, things go from bad to worse. If she had my experience, she'd have more faith. Humans have spent millennia specializing in how to shackle nature to our will. <laughs> this planet won't cause us any new problems. My one task hmm. now is to keep us alive as comfortably as possible until the insurance company arranges rescue. In this part of space, that could be months or even years. Yeah, we got lucky with the sunbeam being this close. Okay, uh, let's go through their voice logs then. Uh, up to the top, please. This island is a godsend. Look out of the window. No predators, fresh food. No building materials, nothing left of the ship. And your kid says we're gonna starve without more grow beds. Speak up, kid. It's true, father. The natural growth rates are too slow to keep supporting us. All I'm saying is, oceans got us surrounded. No use hiding. Sooner or later, we'll get our feet wet. The rest of your life may have been a fight, Maida, but I've made my decision. You want to forfeit your emergency pay to take a swim? Go ahead. Believe me, I'm thinking on it. And I wish I had the choice of whether I had to go for a swim or not. I was just stuck out in the water. Storm hit, Maida was right, the weather did pass. Change. Son, I said wait for the storm to pass. Your life's more valuable to me than a plant patch. You stop being in charge when the ship you were captaining sunk. Ooh. I'll stop being in charge when you take charge of yourself. Say, Chief. Chief. What? You know how to drain those grow beds of 40 tons of storm water? Or how to conjure food from the air? I know how to prioritize. I'm just saying, if that's so, What's your boy's life worth to you today? If tomorrow you're going to be so hungry you start wondering what he tastes like, let him go deal with the plants. Son, go deal with the plants. Yeah, he's truly not in charge now. Torgo has disembarked the habitat. Interfere with my family again, and when rescue arrives, I will leave you here. Do you understand huh. me? No rescue coming, Chief. Not in time. No staying here, neither. This rain keeps falling. Sooner or later, this place will be buried. Only choice we got is whether to get buried with it. Yeah, I imagine a floating island doesn't do too well in, uh, storm waves. Kind of rock back and forth a bit. Not the ideal place to build. What happened after the storm? You see, Chief, you brought us to this sodden planet. Told us we'd see a lush payday. Now what do we got some six weeks later? A dead crew, a habitat that's half buried, food washed away. I suppose the executive decisions would be better left to someone with your extensive experience of hitting people in the face. 
I know enough not to take unscheduled detours to uncharted planets. That's something you don't want to learn the hard way. Easy to judge a decision in hindsight. Harder to come up with a plan of your own. Got one already. We take what we can carry and hunker down in a cave somewhere. I scouted a site. A couple hundred meters deep, lots of metal deposits. How do you imagine we'd live? With ready access to building materials? Like damn queens. A couple of water filters, a bioreactor, fresh fish. But Chief, we'll eat seaweed salad and drink our own urine if that's what it takes. All that matters is, do you got something better? Send the coordinates to my PDA. I'll review your proposal. Hunker down in a cave somewhere, a couple of hundred meters deep. She's not talking about uh, the caves by Ozzy's place, is she? Because that did not look very hospitable. And it looks like they came home from the deep. So what happened? This is the first time I've seen sunlight in months. After all that time in the deep, I'd been dreaming of it. Now that I'm back here... <sighs> Finding it hard to enjoy alone. Father was right. We should never have left this place. We shouldn't have gone so deep. They do not want us down there. They? Despite my best efforts. They who? Ill health is taking hold of me. The visions are getting worse. Marguerite and Father are now part of the ecosystem of this incredible planet. It's reassuring to know that when I go, I'll join them. Until then. Well, there's always the view. So Paul and Marguerite died down there? They do not want us down there. Who is they, Bart? Who is they? I'm going to assume that those stupid little crawlers got your body since it's not up here. So, I apologize that I can't give you a proper burial, but I haven't been able to give anybody else a proper burial either, so... There's not much I can say or do about that. Do have the coordinates for their uh, proposed habitat location. And I still need to find the rest of the crew! I saw no lights all night long. Just trying to keep an eye behind the PDA, but maybe they're hunkered down in a cave down here. Need to find a way into that pool of water. Uh, let's see here. What's the best way down? Looks like this path continues around. Yeah, it does. Nice little land bridge there. I don't know if I'm brave enough to try and cross it, though. Is this the pool? Hello? Anybody? Guys? That's a PDA. Okay, I happen to know that the water is a couple of hundred feet deep right here, so... As long as I miss the edges. Yes. Oh, I give that dive a perfect 10. Okay. What happened, guys? Where is everybody? Integrating new PDA data. Oh, I hate it when that happens. Okay. Rendezvous voice log. What happened? We have to board the Aurora. Repair the long-range comms. Make contact with the other survivors. We can't be the only two that made it. Those are not the orders only that Captain two? gave me, and they are not the orders I'm giving you. This isn't chain of command. It's survival. My obligations as acting commander don't turn on their convenience. Get out of the water. If I get into trouble, I'll send you my coordinates. I can't let you go alone. Then come with me. You don't leave me much choice. Received emergency transmission no. from second officer Keen. Two hours after last activity. Rendezvous was a failure. Intercepted a transmission from Altera HQ. Seems they sent a data package to the Aurora. We were intercepted by a Leviathan-class predator no. before we could reach the ship. Consider the CTO and I lost at sea. Be safe. Keen. Out. <sighs> 
So only the CTO and Keen made it to the rendezvous? And then they were intercepted by a Leviathan. Because, of course, they were. If no one else made it here, we, we literally may all be dead. Now, there's got to be somebody else alive out there somewhere. Hiding in a pod. Waiting for rescue. I don't know. Uh... I don't know. Getting to the Aurora and repairing the long-range comms, though, is an excellent idea. And one I think I'm going to have to join in. I do need to contact the Sunbeam. They're currently in orbit. I still don't know what brought us down. Uh, how do I get back to that beach? Maybe this way? I don't know what brought the Aurora down. If it is something from the planet, if there is a they that's defending this place, they may try and shoot down the sunbeam as well. They need to be warned. And I need to get aboard the Aurora and find out what's going on there. Oh, there is no way, absolutely no way I'm going to be able to get on board the Aurora and do anything useful unless I've got both a propulsion cannon and a laser cutter. Do I have the blueprints for both of those? I think I do. Yes. And a stasis rifle. Don't know the last thing for the stasis rifle. Laser cutter. I need two diamonds. A titanium. Battery and cave sulfur. That I know how to find. How about the propulsion cannon? Wiring kit, battery, and titanium. Now, wiring kit. That was just silver, right? It was. Okay, let's do this smart. I need this. I need this. And for that, I'm going to need that. Okay, there's my shopping list. There is my sea moth. Let's go get stuff and let's get back aboard the Aurora.